Hey guys, the Rolf Wolf here, and welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club, where today it's going to be episode 9 of this entire fucking series. Hopefully we can get it done in the next few episodes. I think the ending is coming up. She doesn't want it to end, even though there's a lot of fucked up shit happening recently. But, uh, I'm excited to get back into it, and I was just texting, I was ch text, I was checking the logs, and there is a new folder called... I I I I I I I I I I I you get the fucking point. Either way, it's a text document, so let's read it. Okay. Good start. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. Would it really, really be easy to kill myself right now? But that would mean I won't I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? I'm guessing that's gonna be Monica. I don't know, though. Like, Monica could be an obsessed psychopath. Yeah, she's always been super forceful about it, but then again, Yuri's being forceful about it, too. Mm. One of them's the obsessed psychopath. Or Sayori faked her death. I don't know. Shit can happen. Why is she deleted from the game? I don't know, man. Just that's just conspiracies, man. Conspiracy theories. It's just conspiracies. It's just a theory. A gay theory. A gay theory. <laughs> All right. So where we last left off, we left off on the part where it says delete her. Uh, we didn't delete anybody. We don't know who to delete. We don't know why they want us to delete them. We're not going to delete anybody because I'm afraid it'll fuck up the game. And I don't want to fuck up the game. So, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep going. We're going to do good times. Fun. Yes. Okay. Hi! Uh, ooh, uh, um, ooh. It's confirmed. This is you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. See, don't change it. Not right. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, I swear. She's got a super serious face on, too. She's all like, anyway. nigga. <laughs> Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult situ decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Um. Is she breaking the fourth wall? She's breaking the fourth wall. Okay. <laughs> Guess I'll save. <laughs> you know when, um. Oh, you never know when, um. <laughs> who am I talking to? <laughs> no, no, no. She's being serious. <laughs> who? What? Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? She looks, Is she talking to me? She looks super upset now. Please help me. I just got chills all the way up and down my arm. Um. That's, that's spooky. That's my advice for today. Uh, Was she talking to us? Nigga. <laughs> Wait, let's check the files. It's all the same. Okay. No. That's your advice for today. Okay, thanks for listening. No. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? No. Not really, but we're going to. No. A joke. A man walked into the cl a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized that she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction called the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Oh. That's not a joke. That's just talking about Sayori killing herself. Do you think Yuri or Monica knows about this? And that one of them wrote the poem? I don't know. 
Monica's acting really fucking strange. Yeah. Before, she was all, like, not that strange. Yeah, she was fine, and now she's it's... acting really strange. Like, she's like, she just asked, can you hear me? Who am I talking to? So I feel like she was talking to us. Fuck. Hold on. Let's check the files again. There's nothing. It's the same. Okay, but she killed herself just in time. Right. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. It's back. Oh my fucking god, it is. Okay, everyone. Because it was just talking about Sayori. So okay. it's talking about how, like, you. She killed herself just in time. That's fucked up. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Yes, yeah, sadly. We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit in front of the room. Is this about the... Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Mm. Look, mm. I know everyone's been a little more lively since ever since Bert Beer <coughs> joined and we've started with some club activities. Mm -hmm. But this isn't the time for us to become com complacent. Mm -hmm. We still only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? Oh. oh. What in the hell? That did not sound like Discord. It is Discord. Oh. nothing new. Okay. What's so great about getting new mi Oh, wait. By the way, we're back. Sorry. Had a little thing with Discord. Uh, somebody was messaging me. Had to take care of that real fast. Sorry about that. I was on Do Not Disturb, but apparently it didn't work. So, my mistake. Alright. What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, don't think you're look I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. No, she fucking is. I mean, <laughs> the less the better. Less casualties. Don't you want to share your passion with as many as uh, with as many people as you can? Well, not from yesterday. <laughs> To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? No. <laughs> the literature club should be a place where people can express themselves. Like they can't do anywhere else. I was really expecting the screen to go all fucking wonky when she said literature club. Me too. It should be a place so intimate that you would never want to leave. Mmm... I know you feel that way, too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, Mir? Why are you bringing me to this, you fucking... Alright, fine. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Bert to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica... Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? 
Yuri never even talks about Bjorn and tell what the fuck are you doing? There's no music. I was hoping oh. there would be something like Oh, there deep. isn't. Yuri never even talked until Bjorn Yeah, joined. Yuri never even talked until Bjorn joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Bjorn isn't even passionate about the passionate about the literature club in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you shouldn't. You should really consider our opinions for once. Borf. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Yur want to get more members too, right? Borf. Borf. <laughs> I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up from, to me to rescue this situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? Uh-huh. This club... It's nothing more than a place for few people to for a few people to hang out. Mm -hmm. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? Yeah, I did. But doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. you why did you even join this club? Because you fucking made me. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> why were you ho what were you hoping to get out of it? Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all of this, anyway? Uh -huh. Poor Monica. What if starting this club was a mistake? Borf. No, you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime, to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. <clears throat> you don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with a club being that... Uh, with a club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many place, other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Beert. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one. I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Nasuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Mm -hmm. Fucking everybody's super sad. What the hell? Itsuki. Itsuki ignores, ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Morph. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have any op uh, do you have an opinion on the festival? Or I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who, ah. Ah, who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, um, uh. I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm kind of just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody uh. would cry if she killed herself. Ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Yuri, no. Okay. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Beert? What do you want to get out of this club? P Pussy. <laughs> Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide to give an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. 
Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Which, uh, way, oh. Um. Ooh, her eye is bleeding. Right? Was bleeding. No, uh, no it still it is. is. <laughs> With each change in okay? members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So, if you'd like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey. Hey, Yuri. Uh-uh. Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a, water, a wonderful friend. Aww. Can't speak. M Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Beer? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Beer before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. Sure. Mm. It's important to me as president. Mm. Important. <laughs> Bored. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic here lately, hasn't it? Haven't it? Yep. Whatever. <laughs> Beer, I just wanted to make sure you were enjoying your time at uh, this Uh, hello? Mmm. What? What the fuck is happening? Oh, I see it now. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? No, I don't want to know what you mean. <laughs> And the music stopped. But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I'm, I'm fucking scared. grateful for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Mm-hmm. Things I know only you can understand. Right. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No! Oh. So is there some other force at work? She, she, she keeps breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, but she was about to talk and then something wouldn't let her. So is there, is it not Monica? What the fuck? Something is controlling this. I'm so fucking wrong. Is there a new thing? Alright! Let's... Oh, shit, you're right. Um... No, it's all the same. All the characters are still there, too. Alright. I guess. Is copyright a thing? No, that's different. Okay, just making sure. Alright. Uh, <coughs> uh, raindrops... Drop pop. Uh, <laughs> anxiety. anxiety. Uh, Misfortune. Mm, yes. Con contamination. Oh. Um, oh. It's already breaking. Um. Hopeless. Hope. Hope. I'm a wait. Um. Wait. Do you think that? What are you trying to do? Here? Do you think that maybe Sayori isn't gone? Maybe your little puppet is still like down here somewhere. 
Maybe. What do you mean? Like, hold on. Let me. See. What would Sayori like? Peace, passion. Passion. Scars. Uh, suicide. Ex fantasy. fantasy. Evan. Mm. Pink. Wait. Nah. Doki. Wait. Chuck. Mm. Judgment. Oh. Um, what's the, what the frick is that? Inferno. Vitality. It's the, the ones are increasing. Oh my well, fucking, did you see that? No, what happened? Bro, there was something down there like I said. I didn't see anything. It was a little hoppy puppet. <laughs> a hoppy puppet, let me see. Let me see. I'm for real, I don't know, Try I don't know again. how I did it. Do it again. Effusion. Party. Embrace. Uh, I tried to, I was just doing things for Yuri, and then all of a sudden it was like a little happy thing. A little happy thing? Did it look like Monica or Wait, I had Monica's you? little bow. Monica. Unrequ I thought Monica wasn't a person that you can write a poem for. I didn't think so either. Uh, melancholy. Uh, Cute? landscape. Oh, Death. I swear to God, it was right there. Or maybe you're just seeing things. No, I wasn't. I will show you in the recording. No, you're you're seeing things. I, I will okay. show you in the recording. Okay. I swear to God. You can prove it to me then. Hi, Beard. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? She's oddly excited about this. I brought my best tea today. Monica. I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, <laughs> Natsuki. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Mm. What are you talking about? You said that, you say that, like, I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Well, first. She's an obsessive. She, she, she's got problems. Second, um, she has problems. Third, she's obsessive. She's got problems. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Me? N nothing. Morph. Is that really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. But I'm. I don't want it. Uh, I terrible think I joke. Understand. What? I think when Monica's in the room, everything goes bonkers. Oh, true that. Cause it was just like a second before Monica entered that Yuri was going creepy, creepy, very very creepy with the eye thing. No, and that was like a second before Monica came in. Mm. I think Monica I've been feeling a little this. on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I need to, needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man. Okay. I'm the last one here again. Well, you're just locked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination, starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Mm. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um... Mm. Both. Right. I forgot. Um, uh... about Natsuki, where the fuck did Monica go? <laughs> We were all talking yesterday, and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to be ch to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So, as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Morph. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Morph? Ah, uh, 
Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday, and I was a little more hostile than I meant to be, because I'm a simple white girl. <laughs> I guess I really felt threatened or something. Are you just like a fucking animal? Are you just like a fucking animal of prey? You're just like, yeah, I'm fucking... <laughs> what the fuck? But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah, uh, yeah, that's wonderful. Okay. <laughs> it wouldn't be the same without you, Netsuki. Mm. Anyway, Fear, why do you keep changing the subject? Why uh, do you want to? What do you want to do today? What? Uh, um, leave. I want to leave immediately, and for you to stop changing the subject when we're talking about one thing and you switch it to another, you fucking bitch. I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Beard is already engaging in a, engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that I've already got him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose... Okay. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Man, look at that fucking smug, condescending face. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, I fucking won. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Yes! Uh, <laughs> yes! yes. Uh, uh, thank you for understanding, Monica. Um, she's See? a little excited. Obsessive! Mm, a little... Actually, I have a request. You have a lot of those. Do you mind if I make some tea first? You seem to You really enjoy like that. tea. Yeah, not at all. My ass hurts. That's good to know. But yeah, no problem. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that, I, that can make reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Didn't we already read this? I should mention for yourself as well. You did read this already. He already stands up and makes your way to the closet. It, this is the same fucking thing. From yesterday. Yeah. I follow and watch as she retrieves the small water pitcher from the shelf. This the is kind the same with a filter thing inside. Yesterday. Could you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in on the teacher's desk and I'll go get some water. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is happening? This was from yesterday. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts uh, her speaking mannerisms, especially because her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Thank you. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Oh, I might as well walk with you. This is the same fucking... That's okay. You stay here. It won't take it won't take long. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, uh, did you did Lur Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Monica. More ten minutes pass. Again. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. It's gonna be the same thing, isn't it? Huh? I'm so lost. Wait, are we... That doesn't make sense. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the, near be the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. It's oh, the same thing. Christ. Ha. 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 What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and I peer around it. Yuri? Yeah! Um... Uh, it happened again. Hello? Uh... Ah! I'm going to take a moment to uh, recollect my thoughts. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> to begin with. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I wouldn't go in there for a while. 
Thank you for ruining the recording. Someone uh, crawled in me and died in there, so. Okay. Um. Ah. Wait. How did I. Sorry, I just had really weird deja vu. Yeah, so did we. Yeah, no fucking joke. This hasn't happened before anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't been really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those feelings is so soon after meeting someone is usually seems an, as inappropriate or unlikable. God damn. At least, <coughs> that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. I made people not want to be around me, so I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I couldn't control myself when I got too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts going crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Beard. Is it just me or... Has Monica been acting a little off lately? It's not just you. It's 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 not just been you. She's always she always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? With those eyes, that's where you're wrong, kiddo. <laughs> Please tell me too? I'm not, kiddo. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't yeah, say anything crazy. before because she's always listening, but finally we're alone. Um, Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Poor. Um, what did the screen I say? just want to stay here. Is that an eye? Where? Right there. That's an eye. That is an eye. I just want to stay here. I thought I was seeing things. It's just the two of us. We can Go stay away. here until the club ends, and then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Oh, uh, 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 that was a joke. J just a joke. I, I do Monica. like knives, though. Yeah, she fucking, you're a creepy ass bitch. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you never see how beautiful they could be. You're acting really fucking weird. Monica. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I could show you my collection. I've gotten uh, them all from various artisans. I'll make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club, Beard. Monica, no. The, now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Uh, she's right there. She, not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together, eat together, sleep together. Uh, Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could have ever wanted. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost as if it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now that, we're ha now that we get the happy ending that I've, always, that I've patiently waited years for, will you do that with me, Beer? Will you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Righto. What? Who should I show my poem to first? <laughs> Not Natsuki, Yuri? Natsuki seemed really angry with me, and I feel like hers would go by the fastest. So, fuck it. I'm not gonna read another one of your Yuri suck up poems, but I'm still gonna make you read mine. There's a reason. I really wish I didn't have to do this, but unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. 
You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist? I always wanted to be try. I always wanted to try be being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So, please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just, please, try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's just been really dismissive about this. It's like she doesn't want us to ignore it, or she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Do not let her know I wrote about this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Okay, so she's worried about... Your so Yuri and Natsuki are noticing that something strange is going on with Monica, like we are. So they know that Monica is being really, like, short-fused, like she's seen this all before. Right? Because, like, she's being really short-fused about all the answers and everything, and, like, I don't know, how Yuri was talking about the whole, like, deja vu thing. Shit's weird. Uh, um... Mm. Hello? Uh, mm. I changed Suki, my mind. You seem to have lost your eyes and <laughs> mouth. You seem to have lost your face. <laughs> Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Bjorn? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Aww. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just, just Monica. Monica. Just Monica. Monica's Bay, apparently. The fuck? What? Just, just Monica. Monica. We go for Yuri, though. <laughs> uh, so who should I show my poem to next? <laughs> As I have a mental breakdown. Yuri, for the... Yeah. Giggles. Shits and giggles. Finally. Uh, Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Beer, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. Ah ha ha. You're too nice to me, Beard. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad. Did her eyes just... change? Just, what? It's not bad, right? No, her eyes have always You're... been purple. No, like, it did the little fucking weird eyes for a minute. Oh, Yuri holds it. my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Ah, uh, thanks for sharing that? Question mark? Okay. I'll give myself paper cuts so your, cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's not helpful. Uh, you can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. I can't read that. Can you read that? I don't like the... Try scrolling down. I can't read anything. Is that a pee stain? <laughs> There's blood all over it, too. I can't read any of it. I don't think there you're is, supposed to. There is no English. Uh, it's a bunch of scribbles. Yes. There's a square. Oh, there's a square. I found a square. A square. Wait, can you click on the square? No. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, crap. Yuri, go away. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. 
In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... <laughs> More importantly, I endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? With my scent? Peace, day. Uh... She looks freaked the fuck out. Like, she doesn't know what even happened. <laughs> I... I think I'm going to vomit. Yeah, please leave. Yuri, no. It looked like she didn't even know that it happened. I know. Because she had her face... Her eyes were wide open and her face was like... Holy fucking shit. <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> And then she has to vomit or something. I feel like I'm gonna vomit. I feel like I wanna hide. Don't s Don't say I didn't warn you, Beer. What? Huh? Yes or no? What? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. A dream. It was a poem. I was wandering in an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall, anything. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of inter indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Container. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check this. There's nothing new. Okay. Neat. Right? There's nothing. Okay, I'm free. Hold on, let me refresh. Yeah, there's nothing new. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. But let's hurry and get this over with. Wait, why is she being so, like, forceful oh, about let's it? Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ew. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. That's not good. She said that before Sayori died. She did? Yes. Shit's gonna happen. But I guess we'll find out Whoa. in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, <coughs> leave a like comment down below, and subscribe. If you did, if you did appreciate it, uh... Wow, that, I fucked up that completely. It, it would be greatly appreciated if you do. Um, comment down below if you want to see more episodes of these. We will gladly do it. Uh, uh, right now, I'm going to be editing down all this shit, being uploading it, all that shit. So be prepared for these episodes. They'll probably be up by at least tomorrow. By at least uh, tomorrow on, what, the 4th? Yeah, the 4th. It'll be up by the 4th of March. Hopefully, if not l earlier tonight. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, comment down, comment down below, and subscribe. All that great stuff really does appreciate. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see all you dudes in the next episode. Goodbye.